All right, shalom, shalom. <clears throat> I want to start off by giving all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rekar Quadash, Ma'ewanam Yum. Double honors to my elders and apostles at Great Millstone. Shalom to the elect, the ones out there who are um, doing this work diligently and chiefly keeping the faith, making your calling and your election sure. We're going to get right into it. Um, hopefully, this is edifying. Uh, this is going to be a reading over um, Isaiah chapter 24. Uh, this is uh, Isaiah chapter 24, and I'm going to start at verse 1. It says, the title is uh, The Empty Earth, right? This is going into a future prophecy. It says, uh, Isaiah chapter uh, 24, verse 1, Behold, the Lord maketh the earth empty, and maketh it waste, and turneth it upside down, and scattereth abar abroad the inhabitants thereof. Verse 2, It shall be as with the people, so with the priest, as with the servant, so with his master, as with the maid, so with her mistress, as with the buyer, as with the buyer, so with the seller, as with the lender, so with the borrower, as with the taker of usury, so with the giver of usury to him. Verse 3, the land shall be utterly emptied and utterly spoiled, for the Lord hath spoken this word. This is going into what? Those um, nuclear missiles, right? You can read about it over in Malachi chapter 4, four verse 1, right? Uh, the day it cometh, they shall burn as an oven. And I'm going to get there real quick. This is over in the book of Malachi. Uh, chapter 4, verse 1, it says, For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. So that's what's coming upon the earth, man. You know, nuclear missile fire, right? Where he's going to wipe everything up off the face of the, um, you know, the face of this land, man. And speaking in code is Babylon, you know, spiritual Sodom and Gomorrah, spiritual Egypt. You know, all 5,000 miles of this place will be wiped out. You know, this is just a quick little video here going into, you know, future prophecy. Um, another precept that come to mind is uh, Revelation. Chapter 18, right? The scriptures are bring it out truly and sincerely how this place is, you know, Babylon and how it's, it's going to be destroyed. OK, this is uh, Revelation chapter 18. And I'll start at verse 2. It says, And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and become the habitation of devils, and the hold of every foul spirit, and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. See, so this is going over to, uh, this is a correlation to what? Isaiah chapter 24. When the Lord said, what well, he going, to you know, empty this place, right? He gonna bring waste to this place. He gonna scatter the raw, the inhabitants thereof, right? He will, he will make the place um, a waste and a, uh, you know, a desolation. In verse three, it says, for all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her and the merchants of the earth are wax rich through the abundance of her delicacies, right? Going into what that dollar, going into, um, you know, slaves, going into all of the delicacies, all of the delicacies that America has to offer, you know? Um, continuing on, verse four says, and I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins and that ye receive not of her plagues. You see, so you got to come out of the um, 
uh, you got to come out of uh, uh, this world, man. You got to come out of Babylon, you know, spiritually, physically, mentally, you know, emotionally, you know, this place is, 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 is out of here, man. And whoever don't like it, you know, they're going to be caught up in that fire too, you know? Hey man, this thing is about suffering. This thing is about enduring and, you know, overcoming. If you can't do that, man, the Lord is going to take you out, you know? And Lord willing, you know, I, I'm able to endure it to the end. And, you know, the more I walk and, the, you know, the more I step in this truth, man, you know, you, 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 you gotta trust in the Lord and only the Lord, man, you know, because this world, man, this world, you can't put no trust in it. All right. The world will turn it back on you, man, but the Lord will never, you know, Hey man, you don't want to be partakers of her sins, man. You know, you got to come out of her. This is uh, Revelation chapter 18 and verse 4 it says, And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. So what's one of the plagues that's coming? Link that up over in what? Zechariah. Right? Zechariah 14. This is what the Lord is going to make this place empty with, man, with nuclear missile fire. And all those who agree with this place, all those who 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 secretly admire this place, you will be wiped out, man. You know, because this place is out of here, man. It's nothing but suffering and chaos for the Israelites here, man. Are you 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 get a couple, you move a couple steps forward, and then before you know it, now you now you now you got to start all over. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now you you, you, you got to suffer a little bit more. Hey, man, this captivity, man. You know, it's not for the it's not for the weak, especially when you know what this thing is about. You know, hey, suffering make you bitter. Suffering make you, you know, you know, angry in certain instances, man. Because we almost out of here. We, you know, we almost out of here. That's a great thing, but the suffering, this fire, man, it gets hot. You know. You, you you start to hate uh, the suffering, but, you know, according to the spirit, man, you got to love it. You know? Hey, the fire is hot right now for the elect. Lord willing, I'm a part of that number. It's hot, man, you know? But that fire is going to, that physical fire is going to be hot for all those who are not suffering now, who are not repenting now, you know? Who are not listening now. That fire is going to be hot. And I'm not talking about the other nations. I'm talking about the two thirds, man. You know, whoever they may be, Lord willing, I'm not a part of that number. You know, this is Zechariah 14 and 12. It says, and this shall be the plague. This links up a what? Revelation 18 and 4. It says, and this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. Their eyes shall consume away in their holes. And their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. You see? Do you, you, this is going to be a, a fiery time. And the Lord's fiery indignation shall come upon this place, man. You know, for all the abominable and grievous laws that they got put in place so you can never make it, so you can never advance, right? All of the people who are standing as gatekeepers, <clears throat> who are standing as gatekeepers there to prevent you, you know? The more wicked you are, the more you agree to this society, the more money you get, the more praise you get, you know? Hey, but guess what, man? You want praises from your Hawabashim Yahweh You don't want praises from this world. It's only temporary. You know? It's only temporary. This is um uh this is uh Isaiah chapter twenty four and verse four it says the earth mourneth and fadeth away. 
the world languisheth and fadeth away. The hardy people of the earth do languish. They're going to languish in that fire, man. Verse 5, it says, The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof, because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. Therefore have the curse devoured the earth, and they that dwell therein are desolate. Therefore the inhabitants of the earth are burned, and few men left. You see? Hey, that's why I got the blackout screen, man, because hey, that's all people going to see. You know, it's just death and just they can they're not even going to it's going to be so much smoke in certain areas and so much darkness in certain areas. You're not even going to be able to see your hand, you know, in front of your face, man. You know, a lot of people are going to be disoriented, disorientated in that time. Right. You don't have no sense of direction. You don't know if you're going to walk up onto something or back into something. Hey, man, a lot of a lot of destruction is coming. OK, we can't say this enough. Destruction is coming. And those who are found watching, they they will have light. All those who use the wisdom and knowledge of this world. They won't have no light, man. You know, their light shall be stuffed out. They will have complete and utter darkness. You know? The scripture says the earth is also defiled under the inhabitants thereof, man. You know, Esau Edom, you know, is an unprofitable ruler. And his his minions, the two-thirds, you know, they're unprofitable rulers, man. You know? But the Lord is coming back to set up the one that is profitable, and his name is Yahawashai, which means he delivers or he shall save. And he's going to be sent by our father, Yahweh, which means, um, you know, he is or he exists. You know, hey, the scriptures say right here in verse six, you know, this this place shall be desolate, man, and it shall be burned, you know. Verse 7, it says, The new wine mourneth, the vine, the vine languisheth, all the merry hearted do sigh. Verse 8, The mirth of tabrets cease, the noise of them that rejoice endeth, the joy of the harp ceaseth. Verse 9, They shall not drink wine with song, with a song. Strong drink shall be bitter to them that drink it. Verse 10, the city of confusion is broken down. Every house is shut up that no man may come in. Verse 11, there is a crying for wine in the streets. All joy is darkened. The mirth of the land is gone. You see, all joy is darkened. People are going to be crying for wisdom and knowledge and understanding. They're going to be crying for that, that way out. And they're gonna, not going to be able to find it, man. It's going to be a blackout, right? They're not going to be able to find that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding because the scriptures tell us in what? Amos, let's get that. Let's get that real quick. Let's not quote it. I got to work on getting it more than quoting it, right? This is the book of Amos chapter uh, 8, verse 11. It says, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, Yahweh, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. Verse 12, And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east, they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it. You see, they shall not find it. Why? Because the Lord ordained this from the beginning to happen. He said he's going to send a famine in the, in the land. And it's not going to be a regular food and regular water that you drink and eat. But it's going to be of this truth. It's going to be of this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, man. 
Hey, that's why there shall be a cry for wine in the streets. Like it says in Isaiah chapter 24, verse 11, right? Verse 12, it says, And the city is left desolation, and the gate is smitten with destruction. This is all the spirit of the Lord, man. The scriptures tell us, man, shall there be any evil in the city? And the Lord have not done it, roughly paraphrasing, right? This is uh, Isaiah chapter 24, verse 13. It says, when thus it shall be in the midst of the land among the people, there shall be as the shaking of an olive tree and as the gleaning grapes when the vintage is done. Hey, the news going to fall, man. They're going to fall like a, a fig falling from a fig tree. That's another analogy. You know, verse 14, it says, they shall lift up their voice. They shall sing for the majesty of the Lord. They shall cry aloud from the sea. Verse 15, wherefore glorify ye the Lord in the fires, even the name of the Lord, yet power of Israel in the isles of the sea. Verse 16, from the uttermost part of the earth have we heard songs, even glory to the righteous. But I said, my leanness, my leanness, woe unto me. The treacherous dealers have dealt treacherously. Yeah, they treacher, uh, so like the treacherous dealers have dealt very treacherously. Verse 17, fear and the pit and the snare are upon thee, O, o inhabitant of the earth. Verse 18, and it shall come to pass that he who fleeth from the noise of the fear shall fall into the pit and he that cometh up out of the midst of the pit shall be taken in the snare for the windows from on high are open and the foundations of the earth do shake you see so there's no escape for the wicked there's no escape for the two-thirds there's no escape for these other nations hey the only the only ones that will escape are the ones who shall be saved by their faith and by their works. You know, <laughs> that's what they show. You know, that's how they show the Lord they believe. And Lord willing, I'm a part of that that number, man. You know, that's why it's very important to give diligence to make your calling and your election sure. You know, it's diligent. It's, it's diligence that's going to keep you in his race. You know, being quick. To do the work of the Lord. If the spirit jump on you man. Do a video man. If the spirit jump on you. Repent. If the spirit jump on you. You know to do anything. According to the spirit man. Do that. You know. Hey do that man. <laughs> um, this is um, Isaiah chapter 24 verse 19. It says the earth is utterly broken down. The earth is clean dissolved. The earth is moved exceedingly. You see. Hey the Lord shall reign man. So, hey, that's why it's very important to glorify the Lord. Glorify the Lord, man, because the Lord shall reign forever, you know. And the earth shall be under the rulership of the Lord. And righteousness will flourish on this earth after this judgment take place, after this great empty take place, you know. Um, 20, it says the earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard and shall be removed like a cottage and the transgression thereof shall be heavy upon it and it shall fall and not rise again. Now we know that the earth shall abide forever. Like the scripture says, right? This is talking about what those who are ruling this current earth right now, right? especially this place right here, you know, there were in Babylon, it shall be wiped out, right? It's certain areas that the Lord will preserve on this earth, but you know, it's other areas that the Lord is wiping out. Okay. Hey, every time those nukes leave their silo, they're going to be in perfect rank. The angels are going to be guiding those nukes, man, to the right space, to the, to the right time. And, that wicked, the wickedness of this earth will not rise again after this um, this purification with fire, after this baptism with fire. You know, the, the wickedness will, 
will cease among Jake. You know, verse 21, it says, and then you have people out there talking about how the two thirds are going to not make it right. See, you got, you got people who like to teach one side of the scriptures or their favorite part of the scriptures and not the whole thing. All right. Cut and dry. All Israel will make it. Okay. Right now in this time, only the elect will make it in this time. All right. But the two thirds will make it through the loins of the elect in the kingdom. Okay. They're going to be born with everlasting shame and content, of course. Right. Raking up, realizing that they didn't follow Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay. But the Lord will have mercy upon them. Okay. This is what this thing is about, man. The, the least of the Israelites shall be seen as King David in that time, man. You know? And not saying, you know, the least going to be the same rank. No, not saying that. You, you don't, you're not even going to be able to identify the doorman from the king. That's how, that's how royal Jake is going to be, man. You know? That's how, you know, decked out Jake is going to be. Just like with um, Sheba, you know, how she confused the doorman. All right, because he was he was decked out of uh, costly uh, apparel, you know. And that's going to be the same thing in the kingdom, man. You know, Jake is going to be delivered, man. The Lord shall reign and his people will glorify him constantly, man. You know. The elect will be saved during this time. Two thirds got to be burned in a the fire. They got to be a sacrifice. Just like the elect are being sacrificed now, the two thirds are going to be a sacrifice then, right? All right. In that fire or in Jacob's trouble, wherever they got to, you know, got to be a sacrifice, man. You got to sacrifice either way. Either way it goes, you got to sacrifice your life. You know, you got to do it spiritually now or you're going to do it physically then. But either way it goes, if you're an Israelite, you're going to have to put up a sacrifice, and it's your life. You know? Continuing on in verse 21, this is Isaiah 24 and 21. It says, And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall punish the host of the high ones that are on high, and the kings of the earth, Saki, and the kings of the earth upon the earth. Verse 22, And they shall be gathered together. As prisoners are gathered in the pit and shall be shut up in the prison and after many days shall they be visited. You know, so the Lord is not playing, man. You see these nations are being gathered. These nations are preparing for war. They are already in war. So these prophecies are jumping up off the pages, man. All right. The light of the wicked shall be put out. The scriptures don't lie, man. The scriptures always come to fruition. Everything that the Lord has written will will always come to pass. Okay? This is uh, Isaiah 24, verse 23. It says, Then the moon shall be confounded, and the sun ashamed, when the Lord of hosts shall reign in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem and before his ancients gloriously. All right? So this is where we're, where we're pushing, man. We're pushing the Lord's earth we're pushing the lord's time right we're pushing the lord's time for vengeance time for pain time of deliverance time of deliver uh, uh redemption you know this is what we're pushing man hey we not on nobody's sides we on the lord's side man we not on esau's side we not on none of these nations side the prophets they are on the lord's side you know and it's beautiful, man, to dwell in prophecy because this is going to happen. So get peace from that if you hear this, you know, get peace from prophecy, man. It, it puts you in a peaceful state. You know, I know myself, I've been antsy, you know, all week and everything. But, you know, as soon as I get into some prophecy, like a, a common state come upon me, you know, because you need that, man. You got to come to the comforter. Knowing all these things that I just read is going to happen. It put me in a sense of peace, man, because I know that, you know, um, this state that I'm in will never, it will just never constantly be the same. You know, it'll, it'll, 
it'll change. It won't be the same, you know, and it's beautiful. So hopefully this was edifying. Uh, the title of this, uh, once again, is going to be called uh, The Empty Earth. Okay. Uh, this was a reading over Isaiah chapter 24. Shalom, Wam, Yasharala. I'm going to end it by giving all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Reka Kodash, Lai Walam Yum. Double honors to my elders and apostles at Great Millstone. Shalom, Wam to the elect, the ones out there who are doing this work diligently. And chiefly keeping the faith, making your calling and your election sure. Hey Amen. Don't let your sins weigh you down. Don't let your iniquities lift up themselves. That's what they want to do. It's our job to repent and keep it moving through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Hey Amen. Stay strong, Yasharala Edor. Shalom.